Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today, in honor of War of the Sparks coming out in a couple weeks, we are going to try out some super friends of the five color variety. So, obviously, we're getting an influx of planeswalkers. We're getting about 36 of them, I think, in total. Some are uncommon, rare, and mythic. Uh, so, I just wanted to start seeing what cards are good from the existing standard format that could fit into the shell. Um, also, just kind of a change of pace from the stale meta that we've kind of encountered with some of the top tier decks. So I ran into this deck yesterday, some variation. It was playing Tome of the Guild Pack to benefit off all the multicolor spells in the deck uh, to draw some cards and then smoothing out the mana with Chromatic Lantern. Um, with a lot of red going around and a lot of aggro, staying alive is an issue. Um, so I'm opting to go with four fountains for Revitalize. Revitalize also serves as card draw. Uh, we need to play out these decks a couple times. This is the first time I'll be running it. Um, so we have two Dovins. Uh, I could create some Thopters. Actually, I think I want to go up another Kaya. We don't really have creatures to benefit Dovin's plus ability. So it's really just the stall mechanic with Dovin. Um... I don't like Dovin at all. Let's just go Karn. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so we'll go two Kaya's, uh, some Clarion, and Kaya's Wrath as our sweepers, uh, some Chromatic Lanterns, a couple Contempts to deal with like Phoenixes, uh, some Vraskas, uh, some Karns. Uh, we have a lot of artifacts so we can play in there. Our boy Teferi, a Ral. Uh, we don't really have much with Ral that we can. Uh, to use but it's more just card draw actually we have a decent amount of instants and sorceries tome to draw us cards vraska relic seeker as a top end and trying out a primeval's glorious rebirth that we can buy back all our planeswalkers that die the deck is pretty much base black white uh, with splashes of the other color so that's where a lot of the focus will be uh, sorry we also have some ingrats um so most of the duels are either black base duels or white base duels with the splash color. There's no basics in the deck because five colors. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, for sideboard wise, main deck we lose to the Immortal Sun. So we're not really planning on playing around that at this point. Uh, sideboard, we have three Negates, two Crushing Canopies, Thief of Sanity, some Unmourned Ego to try to get rid of those. Uh, Immortal Suns, a couple of Bedevils as well, uh, Deafening Clarion, a Shalai versus the Nexus matchup, or the uh, like Wilderness Reclamation Teamer versions. They'll just shoot us in the face. Too slow for that. Some Lyra's out of the board, and an Elder Surborn as kind of removal and board wipes. So we'll give it a shot in best of three. No clue how good this is going to be. Uh, traditional play... So as we get started, if you haven't done so already and you're enjoying the content, subscribing, the little button on the bottom right hand corner, it's a free and easy way to show your support. It goes a long way to helping to continue the channel. Uh, we'll be doing War of the Spark in a couple weeks. We'll be building a couple budget decks and just brewing with all those cool cards. There's some aristocrat builds, obviously assessing how good the planeswalkers are. So it's a good way to kind of know when we're getting uh, the new cards in or the new decks. So obviously we want to play first. Uh, cannot complain about having mana. So against an early deck, it's not too bad. Would have liked a, like a lantern or something on three. Uh, so here I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go the tomb here. Because fountain, this comes into play untapped if we need the white. Okay, so this could be salt eye. Uh, so here, I'm just gonna play this into play tapped for now. Missing red mana is a little awkward. Probably Vraska's content, the Jade Light. Okay, so red mana there is good. This 
So depending on what our opponent plays out this turn. And Grath goes up to... God, so they have the Carnage Tyrant. So really just want to stay alive here. So Kaya's not bad there. So we need to decide here. I think we just dig with Ral. Our life total's pretty high. Ral also pluses to six. Nebraska's pretty good here. So at six mana, we can pretty much play anything in our deck. We also have the option to steal something with Angrath. So let's get the most information possible here. Okay, so we'll take the Kaya's Wrath. Uh, so we want to get that for... So here, let's just draw another card. So opponent will give us the fountain here. And that gives us a second wrath to get back afterwards. So opponent going after our life total, which is interesting. Ah, and they have the Contempt. So here... Angrath goes up to 5, they can attack it down. I think we just do Vraska here. I want them to get the Carnage Tyrant down. And then we can start eating stuff in the graveyard. One more land, we can also play both of these. Black, black, white, white. So we do have Kaya's Wrath. Them also seeing one of these get exiled may entice them more so. To overextend. So they Chupacabra here. You'll pay for that. Ah, Clarion's perfect here. So Clarion allows us to wipe the board, start eating their graveyard. So here, let's get rid of these guys. So this is straight green-black. So we, I don't, I'm not sure if they play the Immortal Son of the Graveyard usually, or the sideboard. And them also overextending there is good. So let's Kaya's Wrath. Exile. An opponent concedes. Alright, so for this matchup, they have the Vivians. 
Oh, opponent just straights concedes. They can't beat the super friends. So we'll take it for one more. That felt pretty good. Uh, might want to just double check the red mana in that, the deck. We have four red sources. I don't think that's enough. So we're a lot lighter on blue, so we don't need to go that heavy. Let's go Blood Crypt and a Dragon Skull. Green mana, we only have the three sources, but it's really just a splash there. Maybe just go sun petal. Okay. It's just a little fine tuning with the deck. We'll run it back for another one. If any of you guys have played Super Friends before in this format, let me know what you've liked, what you haven't liked. And obviously this deck's going to transform a lot with the new set. The new Kaya, uh, Othakaya is awesome. For those of you who haven't seen it, three mana, shoots them for three, you gain three life. And then whenever they attack a Planeswalker uh, with one or more creatures, you gain two and they drains them too. So just kind of hiding behind those helps keep the life higher. Uh, can't keep this hand. Uh, fountain on one's not bad. I think we need to try to go dig deeper for lands. This opponent have the duress. Yep. So here they'll probably take, uh, interesting to see what they take. The Wrath that Signify, like we're closer to hitting Kaya's Wrath than the Clarion. They took Rao, which is probably the least worrisome. Just play out our lands there. This could be a couple different things. Okay, Grixis. So they'll probably take Kaya's Wrath is my guess. Huh. Could mean they have a Thief next turn. Which they'll get at least one hit in with the Thief. So we don't have many blue sources. It's probably a tough matchup for us. But if we can get down a Planeswalker, we should be in better state. So they'll take the Kai's Wrath. Get back campaign. So we're just going to play with the blue source to make sure we have all our colors. Perfect. So we want uh, not the best Planeswalker, but it's some action. Uh, they have the Eldest Reborn. Yeah, so depending if we don't draw anything relevant here. Okay, we're going to hold this in hand because they're going to Eldest uh, campaign us. I'll give it one more turn if we don't draw anything relevant.
Yeah. They're gonna get back our Ral and just start gaining a lot of value there. Alright, so versus Grixis, Negates, our own Reborn. Thief's probably good. Probably. They have a lot of indirect removal. Do we want the devil? Do we want canopies? That gets rid of the enchantments. They likely. Okay, so Tom's probably too slow to come down. This could be good. Actually, Vraska doesn't do too much in this match. Up. Well, it does get rid of the Eldest, but doesn't put pressure. Because we have the Canopies, we can probably get rid of the Clarions. Play the Vraska. Ah, let's try this. Oh, short a card. Just play Alira. She Ral's not gonna do much in this matchup. Let's play Alira. This matchup's probably really hard between all the discard. So we'll play first. Ah, I don't think we can be picky. Obviously we're short green. But Chromatic Lantern gets us there. We have three colors. So just want lines here or Chromatic Lantern. Chromatic Lantern would be best. Opponents shock themselves, which is interesting. It's probably Vraska. It's the most threatening. There's two answers, main board to Nicol Bolas. The contempt to be more reasonable if they want to get rid of removal. It's a disinformation campaign, I'm guessing, but this is a much more threatening Vraska. So not the worst in terms of negate, if they try to come out with another Thought Erasure. Then bringing in Spell Pierce is something good to know. Just get rid of that, also gets them off the Surveil. We want a green. We do have Vraska's Contempt up, which is good now. And if we need to, we have the Wrath, but really just want green mana. They just brought in all the discard. Not what we wanted. I think this deck needs uh, some more card draw. Angrath would be good. Teferi would be good. Sure. Not sure why. Uh, they might make us discard. Perfect. Um, just play that in tapped. If they play campaign, we get rid of, uh, they're short off double blue. Okay, so we have Chromatic Lantern up here. So this at least smooths out our draw, but want to try to draw something more relevant. 
may make more sense to change the mana base to be more um, gates based. That way you get the ramp and you get the card draw through guild summit. So they masterminds here. It's fine because we actually have the answer. Actually, we don't have the answer to Immortal Sun. Okay, so that's a redraw for us. More lands is not where we want to be. So I wonder if we play Hydroid Crisis. I'm just going to hold this in case they have more discard. I want both these cards. I don't need another Lantern. We've maxed out on mana. Curious if this is what they tutored for. Or... Also, they've blown two play crafters, which could normally be used for our planeswalkers. Play Playcrafter will probably be a lot better in the new set, just if people are going, uh. Jeez. Just play this out. Rebirth gets us two Vraskas back. Opponent likely has counter spells at this point as well. We do. So they have Nico Bolas. So we're going to do this now to force them. If they have a counter spell to protect it. If not, we have Crushing Canopy for it. We also have two men out for Spell Pierce. Relevant as well as the Exile here. Okay. Thief is one of our better draws. If they don't counter it, it lets us play off their deck. Okay, so there's the Sabotage. Opponent keeps it on top. Another lantern's not doing much. We're just keeping this in hand. The opponent's shown a lot of discards, so I want to be able to, if in a pinch. All right, Kaya. Results. Sweet. Mm, glad to be here. So Welcome normally, my profits. you would go after one creature at a time to gain life, but the opponent's not threatening us, and I don't want them to be able to bring these back. Hit the road. But Kaya presents a clock, at least. However slow it is, we can start getting rid of cards in their graveyard. Okay, so they can tempt it. That's fine. Kaya's not going to win us the game as quick as some of our other planeswalkers. Okay. So I'm going to hold off on this. I want to see what we draw in our turn. Killing Thief is very important. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So we could pretty much cast opponent's thinking and the nickel bolus. Okay, so we have Angrath here. So here, let's play out Angrath first. Okay, so they spell Pierce. So we were hoping that they didn't have that. Never seen water burn. You will. So we're gonna gain Your control of the thief. <laughs> it forces them to block or we get the card. At the very least, it does sacrifice it. I was hoping we had the one more mana to be able to kill Nico Bolas. And crushing canopy. So they're opting not to attack first, which is interesting. The multiverse is at my disposal. So obviously this puts us under a pretty major clock. They should have attacked first, because now they have to down tick. Angrath can at least start dealing damage and forcing them to discard cards in hand. Pretty sure opponents got this. I always have an answer. Yeah. They can just reanimate our planeswalkers. They take the canopy. Yep, opponent's got it. So the deck was pretty clunky. Um, I think we need some of the new tools coming out. Um, that was a really tough matchup, but we did outgrind like the creature decks. But I think against control, if we can get it down early, but without having kind of the protection elements or the disruption, it's going to be a little tough. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy, and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. Thanks.